When the Quran talks about the organisms, it shows extreme accuracy of expression. In Arabic, the word changes according to gender. So the Quran uses the term that expresses the bees that build the bee cells are females. How did Muhammad know that? Also, when Quran talks about the ants, he said that He said it's a female ant, and he proved that the ants have a female queen. The Quran said that the ant talked to the other ants. This was a science fiction at that time. But that's exactly what Professor Robert Heikling discovered in the 90s. And after six years from studying that the insects are really talking with actual voice, after a few words, there is another hint that the Quran used the term crack, not any other verbs. And now we know the ants have external solid skeleton that is actually cracked under pressure. How did Muhammad know these accurate facts? Not only Professor Dr. Maurice Bocai, the famous French surgeon, but also Professor Dr. Charles Baltimore, professor of neurosurgery at Cornell University in the United States, who said, after he knew of the verse 56 in Surah Nisa in Quran, where all Almighty says, as often as their skins are roasted through fully burnt, we shall change them for fresh skins that they may test the penalty. After his acknowledgement of this verse, he thought and then said that the function of pain sensitivity and how it happens was something we needed to study for decades and the Holy Quran said it in just one statement. So, what we will display next, if Allah wills, are some of the scientific facts mentioned in the Quran, or as I would like to call it always, the nectar of science that's potentially latent in the Holy Quran. It's beyond geniality. All of these miracles, all of those facts, legislation, philosophy, astronomy, biology, without one mistake, without any one little mistake, it can never be a human feature. Una de las cosas que más sorprende a los lectores occidentales del Sagrado Corán es que después de leer con detenimiento algunos de sus capítulos encuentran que no es lo que esperaban y que mucho de lo que habían leído sobre él desaparece al leer unas cuantas páginas por lo que pasa de ser un libro antiguo del desierto a un libro que responde a las preguntas actuales del hombre y se parece más a un mar de conocimiento que a otro libro más para apilar en nuestras bibliotecas. Cada verso del libro de Dios contiene conocimiento que puede ser percibido por los humanos al desarrollar las ciencias y desvelar los secretos del universo y la creación entera. If this book is not a revelation, then it's a deception. If it's a deception, what's deceitful about it? Certainly, if the skeptics insist on their claims that the Quran is a deception, then they have to bring in evidence to support their claim. Otherwise, you would never have the right to do this.